this is another video for the owner who's still diagnosing his PCV system. He has taken a reading on his PCV breather hose. This is the hose that pulls filtered air into the PCV system. He has taken a reading on this hose and not gotten anything. So he is now working his way backwards from the other end. This is the end of the PCV system where it pulls air in. This line here, remember he's K-Jet, so his cap is turned around this way, so this line comes out the front. But this goes to his calibrated nipple, his cold start tube, and um, his vacuum passages inside the K-Jet manifold. He is getting a reading here on this hose. So he knows that his calibrated nipple is clear, he knows that his cold start tube is clear, he knows that his um, passages inside the K-Jet manifold are clear. So whatever problem he's having is from this point forward. So the next thing to check is, is his cap stopped up? Is the problem that it just can't pull air through the cap? And the way I'm going to check that, there is a plug in the front of the timing chain cover that is used to access the bolt on the camshaft holds the sprocket to the camshaft and you can remove that plug and put a barb where the plug used to be it's a standard 3 8 MPT thread so I've got a 3 8 to 1 8 bushing and then I've got a 3 16 barb with 1 8 threads attached to my vacuum gauge. So what I want to see is is my crankcase pulling a vacuum or is my PCV stopped up and is blow by building positive pressure. If my PCV is not working blow by will build pressure inside my crankcase but if my PCV is working I will pull a vacuum so let's start the engine and see if I'm pulling a vacuum or building pressure So, I know that if I'm having any problems, it is not due to this cap being clogged, because I am still pulling a vacuum. Let me say one more thing. For PCV to operate correctly, the crankcase has to be vacuum tight. The only place that you want PCV to pull air is through the breather hose, which is ordinarily attached to the air filter housing. Remember on K-Jet it's turned around this way and the hose goes like that to the air filter box, but it's the same principle. 
if your crankcase is not vacuum tight, then what will happen is PCV will end up pulling air through some place other than the breather hose. For example, if your O-ring on the oil filler cap has gone bad, it may pull air around that bad O-ring rather than through the breather hose. Likewise, if the rubber end on your dipstick tube has gone bad, it'll pull air through the dipstick rather than through the breather hose. Or if your gaskets on the timing chain cover and the valve covers aren't sealing tight, it can pull air around those bad gaskets. The only place that you want PCV to pull air is through this breather hose. And to demonstrate that, I've got my gauge reattached to the breather hose. Um, my hose is kind of old and tired, so I've shoved the adapter down inside the hose. Looks like a boa constrictor. But it is vacuum tight with the adapter shoved down inside the hose. So I will fire up the engine and you'll see that I'm pulling a vacuum on the breather hose, which is the far end of my PCV. And then I've got a cap on the barb that I've temporarily put into the timing chain cover. So what I'm going to do is pull this cap off of the barb, which will create a vacuum leak into the timing chain cover, which is attached to the crankcase. And what you'll see is the vacuum that I was pulling through my breather hose will go away. Rather than pulling air through the breather hose like it's supposed to, my PCV will start pulling air through the vacuum leak that I have just created. This vacuum leak will emulate air escaping around the O-ring, around the dipstick tube, around the gaskets. It will emulate air coming in someplace other than the breather hose. So as you can see, my PCV is operating normally. It's pulling air through the breather hose. Now, let me create a vacuum leak. And look what happens to my vacuum. My engine is now pulling air through the vacuum leak that I created rather than through the breather hose like it's supposed to. So now, I drop the vacuum cap. So I'm just going to put my finger over it. See, I'm building vacuum back up again. My engine is totally airtight. But if it wasn't, it would look like that. So, 
if you're having PCV problems, part of your diagnosis is going to be to ensure that your engine does not have any other places for PCV to pull air other than the breather hose. This is the only place you want air to go into your PCV system. This is the plug that I removed to give myself access to the timing chain cover, which then of course gave me access to the crankcase to take my vacuum readings. And that plug is not like the other plugs on the engine. Okay, it's not like the oil pan plug or the block drain plugs or the top dead center plug. It has standard NPT threads. 3 8 NPT. Which means that you can buy fittings at any plumbing supplier including Lowe's and Home Depot to make an adapter to take your vacuum readings. Also, unlike those other plugs, this one has an Allen head. It takes either an 8 millimeter or a 5 sixteenths Allen wrench to remove it. It does not take a square tool. So this plug is totally different from the other plugs on the engine and if you want to see what is going on inside your crankcase that's a perfect place to take your reading. Let me say one last thing about PCV. Um, as I explained in the other video, PCV is not an emissions device. It predates emissions by several decades. It goes all the way back to the 1950s. Um, PCV was conceived by engine manufacturers as a way to prevent the buildup of combustion byproducts inside the engine to extend engine life. Um, sludge inside the engine was a real problem back in those days. Engines would sludge up something fierce. And I'm sure the motor oils that were in use at that time, which were nowhere near as refined as what we have today, didn't help. But uh, the engine manufacturers discovered that by pulling a vacuum on the crankcase that they could um, minimize the buildup of sludge inside the engine and prolong engine life. And this engine here is a perfect example. This engine has somewhere in the 80,000 plus miles on it. Um, the odometer in the car says 70,000, but I went for several years with a non-functioning angle drive. So the engine itself has an excess of 80,000 miles. And um, I removed the valve covers this fall to do uh, adjust the valve lash. And the underside of the valve covers and the valve train looked brand new. 
uh, I'll splice in a picture so you can see what it looked like. But um, there was not a speck of sludge anywhere. Like I said, they look brand new. And that is the uh, result of a properly functioning PCV system. This engine pulls any combustion byproducts out of the crankcase and prevents the buildup of the combustion byproducts the way Dover intended.